marks 200 years of the Florida Keys. The island chain is usually known for its captivating coastlines and boating culture, but it's a lot more than just Margaritaville. In a prime time special on Sunday, Local 10, Janine Stanwood has a look at the fascinating history, the natural beauty, the vibrant culture that draws so many people. We have a preview this morning. This mangrove line channel here in Key Largo, it's pretty magical. It leads us right out to Everglades National Park. On Sunday night, we take you to the Florida Keys in ways you might not have ever seen. They came to America looking for a better life. We explore the history of the people who first settled here and those throughout the years who have called this island chain home, like writers, early black leaders, even presidents and military brass who have said they feel more like themselves when they are here. I love this picture though, this is the Admiral. This is Admiral, um, Admiral Halsey, nicknamed Bull Halsey, five-star fleet admiral during World War II. And here he is in the Florida Keys wearing a, a flower, uh, flower shirt. shirt. <laughs> yes, it is. Hi, JJ, how are you? We chat with well, Hall of Fame coach Jimmy Johnson, Keys. who fell in love with the Keys when he started diving here, and about how even with challenges like traffic and hurricanes. Hey, we deal with it. Because we love it. We do love it. And Keys history wouldn't exist without the offbeat, like the unofficial secession from the United States, characters like Fred the Tree, and mythology surrounding pirates and key lime pie. That's delicious. <laughs> it's a look back and a toast to the future. Cheers! The Florida Keys at 200 Celebrating Paradise airs this Sunday night. You can watch it right here on Local 10 at 7 o'clock.